You are also you are also of the opinion that your negativity is actually good for a brand. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'll say something a bit controversial. Fake news is not necessarily bad. It depends on how you use it. How so? Uh, I will encourage your listeners as after maybe this show to go in and look for and look for something called the Shade. The Shade was a non-existent hotel in London. So this guy went to TripAdvisor and started saying how it is a serious hotel and gave a number. And people started calling the number, they would say it's fully booked. Remember, it did not exist. And then he would give some cuisines and some recipes that were being done there and some photos in his garden. And people believed this is the most, uh, the most expensive place because it was always fully booked. Even on Valentine's Day, you could not get it. And then he would get one or two celebrities and influencers who they would take photo with and he would say they were the shade. Within a year, The Shade was number one on TripAdvisor. And after becoming number one on TripAdvisor and there are too many clients, he then now made The Shade outside the garden of his house, which was a small house, and so started our town. So you see, fake news delivered an income for someone. So there is a way that fake news can be used to, I mean, well, just find out how much this world spent on fighting fake news just the last two years. We are talking of billions of dollars. So, King Ori, if you've not got made anything out of even 0 0.005 <laughs> of the billion of dollars, your work is just to fight fake news and not to use them for uh, something that can add value to you.